Hello there and welcome. We've danced around the edges of the manufacturing compound. Now we're ready to go for broke and tackle the main building, which is the assembly and manufacturing plant. As you will see, this is a tough mission. And you can make it a lot easier uh, by doing the side quests uh, for this, for the manufacturing compound, uh, which is namely to turn off the gas uh, so you can use the side vent and uh, also to um, do the needful in order to turn off the uh, sentry guns as well as uh, that is probably the most important thing making sure that you don't have those sentry guns bothering you we finished researching the smoke grenade I think at the end of the last mission so uh, we're gonna try it out this one because it uh, can be a pretty useful piece of gear for stealth uh, if you're so inclined to go for stealth and uh, we need to swap about some of the equipment um, so I'll take the armor off Agent 2 and uh, give it to Agent 3 uh, since he had a spare sl slot um, yeah uh, one of the things about gear is that you purchase it and then it's always available. You don't have to replenish it uh, or anything. Uh, if you, if it's like a usable item, uh, like a one-use item, like a grenade, then uh, all you have to do is go back to one of the relay points, and uh, and it will replenish your grenade stash. You don't have to purchase it again. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can swap armor around as well. Uh, but for some reason, you can't sell equipment after you've bought it. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Uh, that's uh, it seems like a bit of an omission. Uh, I'm not sure why you can't sell items. You used to be able to sell them in Syndicate Wars, and that's from 20 years ago. So uh, I don't know. Was it an oversight or was it deliberate? Uh, I really don't know. But anyway. Let's get back to the mission. So, uh, as you can see, I've uh, come in through the vent again, uh, just as with the first mission in this compound. Um, but instead of going down the stairs and uh, tackling the nice, easy administration building, uh, this time we've got a whole lot more to do. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take care of the cameras uh, for here so we don't have to worry about them and uh, yeah also good to get rid of the guards as well and it just makes moving around this e area a whole lot easier uh, now that drone there with the uh, pink lights is a plasma drone uh, it's got like a whole bunch of plasma grenades on its back and uh, it can be a real pain because if you destroy it then all of the plasma grenades will explode at once and it won't necessarily kill your agents especially if you you know shoot it from some distance but uh, it will create a whole lot of noise so it's not really useful to kill it if you're planning on doing a stealth run uh, you just want to avoid it instead So, uh, one guard, and then the two drones here, the two droids. These are not the droids I'm looking for. So, uh, we'll just keep Agent 3 here for a moment. Uh, once he's turned off the uh, cameras, just to let his energy recharge, and then we can move the rest of the guys down to meet him as well. Or I think I'd take out this guard first, actually, since he's coming right up close to me. It gives me a good chance, especially in this secluded area. Come on, quickly. You gonna get him? Yeah, I get him. So, okay, back to the hiding spot. And now we'll go and get the rest of our guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, just turn on cloak, make sure the uh, drones don't spot us. Okay, and then we're gonna head up towards the top right of the screen. Uh, once, once everybody's energy is recharged a little bit. Because there's a vent, which you might be able to just see there, uh, which we're going to use to go up a level. And uh, there's also machines and a control panel to uh, hack and hardware uh, to turn off more security cameras. So we want to access those as well. Yeah, getting into the assembly plant is, is not so difficult. It's getting out of it that is the challenging part. Because once you get into the assembly plant, uh, you will pick up a scientist. Because that's actually the objective of the mission, is to get a scientist and bring him out safely. And that can be, that can be tough, because the scientist obviously doesn't have cloak or armor uh, or something, so you need to... Um, be quite careful because if you get into a firefight with the scientists around you then they'll die very quickly and if they die then it's mission over and you'll need to restart so um, playing the stealthy route is, is kind of a must uh, for this mission so uh, we've turned off more cameras we've hacked the thing hardwired the machine and uh, now we're up this level and there's a sentry gun there's a, oh my god there's a sentry gun but it's already turned off because we did the side quest earlier and that is why you want to do the side quests because you don't have to contend with that beast so uh, there's a control panel up a level to uh, uh, which is linked to the sentry gun but uh, there's no point using it because there's no power uh, to the guns so even if you hack it to take control of it it still won't be able to so just get rid of the drone and then the other guy here so we can move up safely and uh, there's two patrols up in that uh, top area that we're going to and they'll go out of the door to the west and then come back in and uh, just go like a straight line up here but uh, once they reach the stairs they'll turn around and go back the other way uh, so once they've gone out that door uh, they pretty much turn around and come back in again as you can see so we need to get our soldier around uh, to that uh, panel on the left side of the gate uh, so we can open it. As far as I'm aware that's the only way to uh, open this gate. Uh, although there might be a control panel somewhere else for the hacker to use but um, it's a lot easier and quicker to just hack the gate open with the soldier because it, it takes far less time to hardwire. So I'm sending my infiltrator to uh, take out these two guys uh, just so they removes the chance of them spotting my soldier when he hacks the gate uh, because the soldier will be in a quite an exposed position so um, uh, you don't want him getting seen accidentally uh, you could just turn on cloak instead if you've got it but it's uh, it's safer just to just to take them out uh, okay so with the gate open We'll send our agents inside. The patrols will respawn, uh, but we're not going to come back this way anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this machine here, we're going to hardwire because uh, it turns off power to the zip line that we're just about to use. Uh, it also turns off power to the cameras down in the assembly plant and uh, and also to the sentry gun that's down there as well. Uh, not that that matters since. It already didn't have power. Okay, so there's a patrol of three here. 
Now, sometimes you don't always get uh, this patrol of three. Sometimes it's just a, a single drone uh, by itself. So I'm a bit unlucky here to get these these three guards. Um, yeah, hardwiring the machine also turns off power to the gate, so which is why they can't get through it, and they need to hardwire it. And they're really slow at it. So, uh, we're just going to wait for them to exit out of here uh, before we use the zipline. Um, unfortunately, they exit out of the compound and then immediately turn around and go back in. So we get spotted here. So, um, yeah, I messed this up. Totally. Uh, yeah, sorry about that if you were expecting a proper stealth run. But, but no. Uh, still, these things happen and uh, you need to adapt. So I've turned on cloak in order to uh, escape and hide around here. Because uh, if I get into a full-blown firefight with them, then the alarm will sound and people will come out of that uh, that garage door that's next to us. Reinforcements will come out of there and it'll be a real mess. We don't want that. So we'll just turn on cloak, uh, run away and hide for a bit. And then once they've given up, we can go and take them out silently. Uh, good. The uh, soldier was moving away from the droids, but uh, they're coming back close together. Uh, in fact, I think I just let them go. Yeah, I was going to take them out with the infiltrator, uh, but they've given up and and gone. And now they've gone for good. Uh, so I'll just send them into the compound. And there we've got the prototypes and we've got our scientist as well. Uh, yeah, apparently the scientist has things inside his head that we want to hack and uh, take control of. But once the mission's done, we actually get to keep him as a, another researcher, uh, which is nice. So we just got uh, one guard patrolling the outside and the gate's nicely been left open for us. Isn't that nice? So instead of uh, killing this guard, I'm going to hijack him. Because he's all alone. So uh, we don't need to worry about being seen. Yeah, that other patrol is long gone now. So yeah, we've hijacked him because uh, level 3 guards make good clones. You can get the information on them, and uh, as you can see, there's extra penalties. He's, if you use him as a clone, it increases the, your unit's health and their speed, their regeneration rates and stuff like that. So he's, he's going to make a useful clone for one of my agents. Uh, there's that patrol coming back. Is it just the soldier by himself? No, no, here come the droids as well. This time I'm going to take them out. Or do I just sneak past them? No, I can't sneak past them because the... Uh, the scientist doesn't have cloak, so we can't just easily... Uh, walk past them. This is tricky. Because you need to get rid of them one by one. And I completely mess it up. Again, I turned off cloak at the wrong time. Um, so I took out one of the drones, but... Yeah. And then I mess up. <laughs> I'm, me I'm messing this up completely. It's really bad. The other drones clamped onto my... Infiltrator, and I'm trying to take this guy out with... Oh, come on. Just... There, finally. Finally got him. Jesus, that was an ordeal. Uh, thankfully, he didn't sound an alarm. He's too busy shooting my infiltrator. Uh, so this might be a good time to use a magic wand, or or I might just not bother, because he's recovering well. 
Okay, so now we've finally gotten rid of that patrol. Messily, I admit, but we've gotten rid of them. And uh, there's no reinforcements coming, so we can head for the exit. Now, there's those two guards that are still spazzing out from the previous mission. They're caught there, and uh, this will be a problem because we can sneak past them with cloak, but of course the scientist doesn't have cloak. So this is where the smoke grenades proves its worth. Uh, we'll just throw a smoke grenade at them and then quickly run past them while they're covered. Uh, if you don't have a smoke grenade, then you might want to choose a different exit, or you could send up um, send up the infiltrator to take them out silently. If you've got a high melee attack, then you could uh, use that on one of them, and then follow up on the other with a pistol, or you could send up agents three and four, take out one of them with the infiltrator, and then hijack the other one. Uh, or sometimes you'll get a drone, so you could, uh, you know, kill the drone and hijack the other, or whatever. Um, but if you've got a smoke grenade, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, just throw it and run past. So that's that, we've completed the mission, hooray. Uh, it wasn't perfect, uh, I admit, but, uh, but we've done it. And we've got our tenth researcher now, hooray. Uh, so, there he goes. Uh, just before we finish, we'll uh, check on our gear research and skill points. Firewall protection going steady. It's expensive, but it can be worth it. Uh, nanofiber muscle, yeah, I'm not too bothered about that, because all it does is reduce the heavy weapon speed penalty. Yeah, it's not that, not that great, to be honest. Um, unless you're a fan of heavy weapons, which I am not. Uh, skill points, I don't think I spend, I just get team stims for, yeah, team stims level 2, and that's it, to be honest. Yeah, I'll wait, and keep my skill points for better abilities. I never get the health of weapon specialists, because there's just no point. But that's that, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.